What is going on everybody? It's Alex coming back at you with another video and today we are reloading the New England Patriots series of the record predictions with Cam Newton and not Jarrett Stidham. So um, you see the games are already chosen here but this is with Jarrett Stidham. So we are going to be reloading this with Cam Newton seeing what's going to happen and then if anything happens with the rankings which I think there probably will be some ranking changes then I think that we will redo the playoffs. If the rankings are obviously the same, then it's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, we won't we won't have uh, the playoffs redone. But uh, you guys wanted to see this video? Let's see how it goes. So week one, um, Jarrett Stidham beat the Miami Dolphins. I mean, I'm not going to redo um, looking over the team again. Uh, you, we, if you guys want to see that full in-depth video, go to the first New England Patriots video. But... Um, yeah, I mean, we're just changing it, adding Cam Newton to the New England Patriots roster. So, uh, I think New England's going to win this game regardless because Miami, uh, they're still developing. There's still a lot of holes on that team, especially at quarterback with that drama and the fact that this game's going to be without a preseason. So, the, so far, that's, um, that's the rules. I'm pretty sure they agreed on no preseason, which I think is absolutely stupid, and it hurts me as a fan of the NFL and a fan of the draft. Um, to see that go away. So um, this is going to be week one. They're going to have pretty much just practice, no game time together. I think Cam Newton's going to be far better than any of these other guys at being able to click into the offense that quickly. Um, next week, New England goes over to Seattle. This is a Sunday night game. It's Sunday night. Um, Russell Wilson's going to light this game up. I still think, even though Cam Newton, Cam Newton brings the aspect of being able to run um, and pass, but Kind of throwing another curveball into here, Jamal Adams was just traded to the Seahawks. Absolutely insane deal. Um, pretty much shows the Seahawks are going for the Super Bowl this year. Uh, which, I mean, if uh, if Seattle makes the playoffs, which I don't know if they did, um, then they will. I will adjust my expectations with Jamal Adams for that. I don't think it would change much during the regular season because they had a good secondary, but um, it could help during playoff time. The next week, Vegas goes into New England. New England's going to beat the Vegas Raiders on this one, guys. Um, I think that was going to be just a big upset. Vegas is not a bad team whatsoever, but they're just a little too young, and Derek Carr is a little bit too volatile, and you're pulling him out of a comfortable dome zone, even though, yes, he's not a dome quarterback, but you're pulling him out into Foxborough. Huge, huge climate difference. I think that that is going to be crucial in this game. Uh, Cam Newton is going to be at home. And I think the running game is going to be kind of crucial here because run stuffing for Vegas is not their number one uh, game plan. Next week, New England goes to Kansas City. I'm going to leave this game as is. Uh, Kansas City is going to be uh, far superior. Now they uh, they just lost Laurent Duvernay-Tardif to COVID-19 opt-out, but they did just sign Collegio Assembly, an absolutely amazing uh, choice for being able to just sign for a one-year $2 million deal. That was absolutely genius by the Chiefs, and um, I'm surprised no other team had picked up Assembly by that time. I think he's probably trying to ring chase. But, yeah, no real need to explain that. Super high-powered offense. Even Cam Newton probably couldn't hold handle up to that. And seeing Cam Newton, I mean, he's looking pretty damn good. I mean, yeah, he's always been in shape, but he looks healthy, healthy. And that is a very good sign for New England. New England did a great job by just trying to sign him. The next week, Denver goes away from Mile High to New England, and this is going to be an interesting game because when you look at it, you have a rookie quarterback with an extremely high-powered offense versus um, like a very talented secondary in New England, but not really much in the run game. So I think the run game is going to be kind of critical this game, and Denver's defense is good enough to hold New England's offense up enough. I think I'm going to keep it as is with Denver winning that game. Then, New England is still going to beat San Francisco regardless. It's still going to be an upset, uh, but I think New England has the advantage in this game. Next week, uh, yeah, this is just going to be a Bill Belichick pride thing. It's going to be that type of juice where like it needs, like he needs to win this game. So I think that's going to be the huge determining factor. The next week, New England goes into Buffalo, and in my opinion, Josh Allen is pretty much like the equivalent of Cam Newton, but with honestly a little bit less accuracy, in my opinion, and then um, not the physicality while running. 
Cam Newton is an absolute monster. Yes, Josh Allen does like lower the shoulder sometimes. He jumps. He has athleticism, but um, I think that Buffalo's offense is kind of crippled by Josh Allen's passing ability because I think that um, they're going to make him take shots down the field. They're probably going to stack the box and go make him take shots down the field because the Bills are a very good run team. And Stephon Gilmore, I think, will have the advantage over Stephon Diggs. And I, I'd be excited to see that matchup. I'm going to call this one towards New England. I'm calling it an upset. I kind of like New England in this one. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this they're going to be possibly dethroned by the Miami Dolphins. I don't even know what's going to happen. For the record, I haven't thought these games out. It's all on the spot. Again, no injuries. Um, the next week, New England goes to the Jets. I'm pulling this one towards New England's way. I think that that is going to be kind of crucial in um, their attack plan. I think that... The offense for New England is going to be far better. Again, Stephon Gilmore is going to be a huge X factor in this game, along with Devin McCourty. I mean, there's they have, corners on New England are very deep. You have J.C. Jackson. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a shit ton of guys. I can't even remember all of their names at this point. Uh, but they have a very deep corner core, and that's going to be crucial for shutting down the pass game of the Jets. And the Jets' offensive line is Garbo. And uh, Le'Veon Bell ain't shit. So if you shut down the pass game, the offense is pretty much dead in the water, and they don't even have Jamal Adams anymore. Yeah, they got McDougal, though, so that that's not a bad choice, but it's not even close, not even close anymore. The next week, uh, Baltimore goes to New England. Again, super-powered offense. This is going to be where I'm going to give the advantage to Baltimore. Uh, I think that they're just going to clean house. This week, New England at Houston. Very interesting game. Very interesting. So... Deshaun Watson is still leading a pretty solid offense. You know, uh, they they have Laramie Tunsil, $22 million a year, Mr. Two First Rounders and $22 million. Uh, and then they have a formidable offensive line. Not a good one, a formidable one. And they have an okay run game, and they have a pretty good pass game. So offense is like okay. Defense, um, they're all right as well. There's a lot of no names on that team. And I think that is kind of interesting. I'm going to leave this game towards Houston. I think that they aren't, they're not bad at all. I think that Houston deserves to have a, like an 800, I mean a 500 record. Um, we're just going to keep it that way. Sean Watson is going to find a way to win. He has a little bit more experience than Cam Newton does in the recent years. So I'm going to pull out this one. Very similar to, um, to like Baltimore and Kansas City. Um, Arizona is just a complete powerhouse. There's no real way to get around it. The next week, New England goes to the Chargers. Chargers have a good defense. Um, they have a much better offensive line. I didn't really realize that they had Cordy Glenn, Trey Turner, um, uh, Belaga and stuff. But these guys are all old and out of their prime. I don't really think it's going to make that huge of a difference. But the quarterback is a huge part of this, guys. And the quarterback is where it's, where it's lacking. So I'm giving this one to New England. They're going to be coming in. And going 1-2 and taking out the Chargers. And same thing with the Rams, except the Rams just suck. The Rams are just garbo, man. Um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna let the the Rams fall here. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, that means they're 1-15. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, the Rams are just no good, guys. I'm sorry. Like, as a Rams fan, I'm, I'm horrified. Well, not, I'm not a fan. It's my home team. So... It's not like I willingly chose them. I hated them in St. Louis, but they're my home team. I got to love both of these teams um, for that fact. But, yeah, New England's going to be far superior in both of these games. Uh, run game is going to be kind of crucial up the middle with this one, with this game right here. Uh, and, like, passing, just quick passes, and that's kind of what you got with your little scat dudes everywhere. So I think that that's going to be solid for New England. James White is going to be also kind of crucial with the short pass game. I think that's going to... It's not going to be a very high-scoring game, but regardless. Uh, the next week, New England uh, at Miami. Again, third to fourth quarter. Uh, New England's going to be gassed out, and Miami's going to take advantage. This time, they're going to be able to be a lot more in stride. I think it's going to be crucial. Buffalo then goes into New England on a Monday night game. Um, I'm kind of call calling BS on this, guys. I'm going to be going with New England here. And, um, again, the Bills have an amazing defense. I'm not saying that uh, this game is for sure New England's way. I'm saying that Stephon Gilmore is going to be that type of factor guy that calls a huge upset here. Buffalo should win that game. If they win Week 8, I am perfectly fine with it. 
I'm calling an upset just because they're going to be coming off the fresh juices of beating the San Francisco 49ers, and they're going to take out Buffalo. And here, I mean, they have home field advantage. They're going to be making a playoff push. They're going to be competing with, like, here, let's take out this game. It's 8-7. and seven. Well, Actually, like, to be honest, I'm pretty sure. Let, let's check out their last game. Uh, they won. So they're going to be 6-8, uh, and eight, and they're going to be 8-7. Um, and No, they're going to be 7-7. Seven and seven. Jesus, I can't count. Um, so this game is a huge deciding factor. So uh, I'm pulling it New England's way, though. Because, honestly, if what New England and Buffalo tied, then it's just arguing about who's going to win the division at this point. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't make that big of a difference knowing that the last game uh, New England won. But, yeah, it's going to be kind of huge for New England to keep pushing into the playoffs. And the Jets, we don't even need to talk about that. And that is the season for the Patriots. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think Cam Newton is the X factor the Patriots need to push him. Uh, back to the number one spot in their division. Amazing idea by Bill Belichick to get him on a one-year prove-it deal. Uh, and I think that's going to pay off dividends. You know, I don't think that's going to be Stephen A, where it's like they're the best team in the in the league. But I think it's the best team in the division. And that's going to be kind of crucial. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to – actually, you know what? Let's just check out the playoff rankings right now. Um, yeah, we're going to check out – what's the wild card round going to look like? Um, so this is pretty much the same guys, you know, let's, let's honestly, if I'm not mistaken, all these games are the same. Okay. So I did just check, um, and all these games are identical to the first one. So unfortunately guys, the New England Patriots are not going to be beating the Cleveland Browns who again are a super high powered offense. And that means that this is where the season is going to end. It's going to end the same way with the Cardinals winning the Super Bowl. Because, again, all these games are the exact same scenario. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the far side. Peace.